Hi all! Welcome to my channel. I am Nani and I am a Brazilian living in the UK. So, in my last video, I talked about some words and expressions that I hear people saying a lot here. And after that, I started searching about uh, British idioms and expressions. And I saw that some of them, not a lot, of course, but some are very similar or exactly the same as some expressions that we have in Brazil. So I listed some uh, to tell you in on this video and to teach you the Brazilian version. Yes, in Brazilian Portuguese. So are you up to it? I hope so. So first I have some expressions that are exactly the same. I don't know if other countries also use them like in, in English too or in their own language. But anyway, it was something that I that it was interesting for me uh, to find out uh, that sometimes we use exactly the same expressions. So the first one is there's no point crying over spilled milk. That uh, is when uh, there's no point worrying uh, about something you did or something like that. When you know when there's no point worrying. So yeah. So in Brazil we use the exact translation that is. Não adianta chorar pelo leite derramado. Uh, in this case, não adianta is there's no point. And milk, oh, leite is milk. And derramado is spilt. So just the order of the words change there. But it's just because of the way that the language is built. <laughs> but it's the exact same translation. So the second one is one that we use a lot, actually. Some, with some frequency in Brazil, that is uh, the curiosity killed the cat. Um, when someone is being nosy, you know, about your life or something like that. And we use a lot in Brazil because a lot of people in Brazil are nosy. Anyway, just saying. But yeah, uh, so in Portuguese it is a curiosidade matou o gato. Uh, so obviously curiosidade is Curiosity, um, matou is killed, and o gato is the cat. <laughs> so yeah, it's exactly the same in this one. I don't know if other countries also use this expression, but anyway, it's it was fun to find out that we use the same. Okay, the last one that is exactly the same is uh, wash the dirty laundry or don't do not wash the dirty laundry in public. Um, when, you know, you are fighting with someone about personal problems between you two or something like that, and it's not a nice thing to do this in public. <laughs> so, um, in Portuguese, it is lavar a roupa suja or uh, não lave a roupa suja em público. So, lavar is to wash, uh, so wash the dirty laundry, and uh, roupa suja is actually uh, dirty clothes, like clothes, you know, I don't don't pronounce this word very well, but anyway, <laughs> um, actually to be more precise, is roupa is clothes and suja is dirty, so just the order again changes there, but uh, we don't have a, a, a word for laundry, um, we just say dirty clothes or wash the clothes, wash the dirty clothes. Yeah, so, but yeah, it is exactly the same, the same meaning. Oh yeah, and I have another one that was the, wasn't the last, that is exactly the same. And also, depending on the accent, it almost sounds the same. It's, the, it's not an expression, an idiom, is more like a slang, is the in it. So, in it is uh, short for isn't it, that small question that we put in the end of questions or in the end of, of phrases, sentences. Uh, so in Brazil, isn't it, we say não é. It's not very similar yet, in it. <laughs> the, but the short version of não é is né. And I swear, I swear, I already heard some people, some English people here saying the in it, saying in it that sounds a lot like né, iné, né, and it's brilliant, <laughs> you know, 
<laughs> it's amazing because, uh, of course, depends on the accent. Some people say in it, uh, in it with the T in the end, but some people say in it and sound like meh. So for me, it was very funny when I heard it the, the first time because not only is the same meaning, like the same translation, but it almost sounds the same. So I say in it a lot here because it's very similar. So sometimes I, I al almost say ne, but um, I, I'm, I'm more used now to, to say in it. But if you want, you can use ne and see if people around you, like Brits, uh, English people, whatever, uh, if they notice if you say ne instead of in it and tell me later what happened there Okay, now I have more three sayings that are not exactly the same in translation But they are very similar because they use or uh, a part of the body or um, I don't know something that both countries use the same kind of thing to use in that expression if you know what I mean, I don't know if it's clear, but anyway, uh, you understand when I start talking, the ex expressions. Okay, so I chose three expressions. The first one is related to a part of the body, uh, or in this case, more than one part of the body in, in English, because it's um, an arm and a leg. When you say that something is very expensive, that costs you an arm and a leg, you know, because it's very expensive. In Brazil, we say os olhos da cara, that means the eyes of my face. Uh, so I could say, for example, oh, this necklace cost me the eyes of my face, you know, os olhos da cara. It's the same meaning, like just change the part of the body that you're talking about. The second one is one that is almost the same in translation, that uh, is to add fuel to the fire, that is like when two people are having a discussion or fighting and someone from the outside, instead of trying to calm them, are saying more things to add fuel to the fire, you know, to, to keep the fighting going, so making the situations worse. <laughs> so in Portuguese we say uh, botar lenha na fogueira, that is uh, to add wood to the fire, so instead of fuel, it is wood, so add few, add you, add oh my god, add wood to the fire. And we also have another one that you can use uh, together that is ver o circo pegar fogo, that means uh, to see the circus catch fire. So, yeah, it's like when you say that someone likes to see a fight or like you know, anyway you say that the person likes to see the circus, the circus cat to catch catching fire. Anyway, so you can use them both together, like, for example, ela tá botando lenha na fogueira, ela gosta mesmo de ver o circo pegar fogo. That, in English, she's putting more, adding more wood to the fire. She really likes to see the circus catch fire, <laughs> you know? So, yeah, uh, it's something that you can use together and it's almost the same uh, in that, in in English, but with another one that makes more, you know, you know, so moving on. Okay, so the last one is one that I found very uh, curious, very, very funny, I don't know, <laughs> because it's one that uses something that is important to each country. Uh, will make more clear when I say what I'm talking about. So the expression in English, the British expression is, uh, it's not my cup of tea. When you say that, it's, that is something that you don't really like. Like, oh, this, this kind of music is not really my cup of tea. So tea is very important, is a huge, huge thing in, in the British, in the English uh, culture. So when you think, think about tea, you think about England. When you think about England, you think about tea. It's like, you know? So, and when you think about Brazil, what do you think about? I hope you say, I mean, you know, a lot of things comes to mind, but one of the things that comes to, to mind, I hope it is for you too, is the beach. So in Brazil, instead of saying, it's not my cup of tea, we say, não é minha praia, it's not my beach. You know, so uh, to say that is not something that I really like. 
um, I found it really cool because uh, it, it's something that is important to Brazilians and it's something that is important to, to English people even though not all English people like tea and even though not all Brazilians have access to the beach because of the size of Brazil <laughs> but anyway, it's something that both parts say so that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video did you like to learn some Brazilian Portuguese today? Do you have any more suggestions? Do you want more videos like that? Please answer it all in the comment box, in the comments, uh, in the comments, yeah. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching again. And see you next Sunday. Bye.